Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone. Saginaw Arts Museum is having tons of events this week, including some to get you moving. So joining us this morning to tell us more, we have Katie Neelands. Thanks for being here, Katie. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Did I say that last name right? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so this weekend is movement at the museum. And really, what is it? So movement at the museum is going to be four free movement classes. So we're going to be having Tai Chi, Jiu Jitsu, intro to tap dancing and uh, fit and fun, which is a more uh, traditional exercise class. We're gonna also be having some free action art activities like a community canvas with splatter paint. So just different activities to get people moving and oh. get in the museum and maybe try something new. And get involved, because it sounds like the, the, the splatter of the paint, those are so fun to see on like TikTok. People do that, so that's so fun. What made uh, the Saginaw Arts Museum really want to offer these types of classes? I mean, you don't really imagine, what was it, Tai Chi at the <laughs> art museum? <laughs> yeah, and we actually already do Tai Chi once a week okay. on Wednesday, so that was kind of uh, an easy thing. Like, let's keep this thing going. We have also a beautiful gardens um, outside, and so we just want to get people outside, maybe try some different art forms like martial arts, like tap dancing, mm -hmm. and move their bodies creatively. Do you tap dance? I, I like to be teaching the tap dancing. What? And so, um, which I guess goes to show too that like I haven't tapped in a while, but I tapped all through uh, middle school and high school. Yeah. And we just want to bring in different volunteers and people that they don't have to be an expert, but they can come share their skills, their passions with us. So yeah, we love, we are able to do this or this event because of volunteers. Oh, okay, good. Do you guys need any more? Volunteers? Hey, we always do. Right. So there's always something to do at the art museum. We have stuff all the time. Very good. Okay, so how can people attend this movement at the museum specifically? Um, so it's free. There's no registration required. They can just show up. Okay. Um, so each class starts every hour from 12 to 4. So 12, 1, 2, and 3. And then the drop-in art activities are just 1 to 4. So you just come when you can. And you can yeah. just like add to the splatter paint, add to the little paint walk and stuff. So they yeah. just really just have to show up. Like I said, no registration necessary. We also have no admission on Saturday. So you can also just walk around the museum too that day as well. Perfect. Remind some of our viewers, if they don't know where the art museum is, where is it? So it's 1126 North Michigan Avenue. So by a Covenant Hospital just here in Saginaw. Perfect. All right. Any other stuff that you got going on this summer that you want to share? Oh, we have probably something every every single week every yeah. Saturday uh, sometimes you know things like I said during the week too we have one more concert for our museum tune so we'd also do concerts outside in the garden we have free family activities mm. uh, we have an open studio you can just come make art just like I said be creative um, like I said we have the Tai Chi so just there's just always something going on public tours you name it okay very good and if they want to learn more information do you guys have a website social media yep so we're on Facebook Saginaw Art Museum and then their website is saginawartmuseum.org okay that piece, that like splatter paint piece in the art walk, is that like going to be displayed after it's done or what's going to go oh, on yeah, with that? Oh yeah, for sure. We'll definitely put it on display yeah, cool. um, so that people will be able to see it when they come, yeah. come to the museum again. They could be like, I put that splat there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Be part of the museum. All right. All right. Katie, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. All right. For more information on this, you can always find it in the hot link section of our website at WNEM.com.